is Meredith Eisenberg with the, the Internet Monster Tamer. And in this video, I am going to talk about whether to use um, audio or video for your um, marketing efforts. And, you know, my answer to that is why not both? Because they each have different strengths. Um, for the audios, um, longer articles and podcasts are great like the 10 to 30 minute range, which might be too long for people on a, vi on a video to get their you know, undivided attention. But for an audio, it's really great because a three minute audio is a little annoying, whereas a 10 minute audio is you know, worth listening to. Um, it's also really easy to set up phone interviews and then break them into different sections using audio editing software. So audio is really great for that. And there's really a low technological hurdle for it. Um, video is great for short one to three minute clips like this video that I'm doing here. Um, how to videos um, are huge for virtual assistants, you know, or people who are graphic designers or people who do anything technical. Just a short little how to video about how to do basic things. People come looking for that and then they need more help and then they um, retain your services from their product reviews are also excellent. And also, you can extract the audio from the video and um, use that for podcasts and other things. You could also do several videos but then combine the audios together into a longer podcast. I mean there are all sorts of options that you can use. Um, for the audio, um, some of the options are um, for podcasts is Blog Talk Radio, which I like a lot. It's free for the um, introductory package and that's at blogtalkradio.com. Um, Audio Acrobat is also really good. That's about $20 um, dollars a month, and you can do all sorts of great audio and video recording and posting through that. Um, also, WordPress is very good. And you can record with um, Audacity. Again, that's free, and you can just do that from your um, computer. You know, it says record. You click record. You start talking, and you're recording. Um, Audio Acrobat, that's, again, you can do it from your computer, or they have a phone number that you can call in and record that way. Or an um, instant teleseminar is a teleseminar system, but it's also a pretty decent way to um, record audios. You can just call up your um, instant teleseminar number and start talking, and that would go with any bridge line. would work for that, too. Free conference call, HD, nocostconferencecall.com. There are a bunch of them, you know, and it makes it very easy to record things. Um, to get the podcast, um, once you've gotten it, you can submit it to some podcast directories. Um, you can look up podcast directories in Google and you can get lots of ideas of places to submit your podcast, including iTunes, Podcast Pickle, Cast Register. There's like a thousand different places. And each place, it's like um, article marketing, you know, each different place gives you a link to your site and it gives you more exposure and more of a chance for people to um, talk to you. And I'm going to talk just a little bit about one of my favorites, which is Blog Talk Radio. Um, Blog Talk Radio has both free and premium options. I like the premium option. It's, I think, $30 a month. I'm not sure. Um, but it allows you to upload pre-recorded audios. So you can record, like I'm recording this audio now, and I might put it all together and make it into a Blog Talk Radio show and post it after I give this presentation. That This is a run-through for a presentation that I'm giving tomorrow to VA Networking, which includes a bunch more information than is in this video. Um, it gets really good traction with the search engines. I've been really surprised that I've seen the shows that I've done come up very high in the search engine ranking. It's a community like um, YouTube or anything else, so you can make friends, you can comment on other people's audios, and the shows can actually be as long or short as you want. So you don't really need to um, worry about making your show really long or really short, um, but you need to tell it in advance how long the show is going to be. And If not, you know, you can you can record it and upload it later. Um, you can also use Blog Talk Radio to do teleseminars, and you can give people call-in numbers to call in and, and talk with you. So if you're looking for a teleseminar hosting that also is the Blog Talk Radio, you can use Blog Talk Radio for um, both of those things. Now, as far as the video, um, I'm going to go more into YouTube, which is sort of the granddaddy of it all um, in the next video in this series. Um, with the video, it's really actually pretty easy to do. Um, I'm recording this with Camtasia. With the Mac, you can also use ScreenFlow. 
Um, there's a great free service called Jing, and it's like thejingproject.com, and you can record little short five-minute videos with that, and it automatically gets uploaded with an upload link. It's really easy. Um, Screen Toaster is also good. You can also record straight out of PowerPoint. Um, for in-person recording, most people's smartphones now have a camera function, so you can do that, or you can use a webcam like a Flip or a Kodak ZIH or even your regular camera to do the recording. Um, the nice thing is, is the bar for not as high as much lower, the production value is much lower. So you don't really need to worry about it being perfect. Um, it just sort of has to be good enough. People have to get to know you, um, hear your voice, see what you have to say. Um, for editing the videos, um, Camtasia is very good. Um, and also YouTube actually now has an editing feature that you can do some very light editing within YouTube. So those are some different, different ways to um, record your video. And in, your next, in the next video in the series, I'm going to give you some hints on YouTube. And you can go ahead and see that video on my blog. And also subscribe for your customer engagement toolkit at um, tametheinternetmonster.com.